They have said they're trying to make the open world in the DLC be more filled. That, that's great. That was never a complaint of mine, but cool. <laughs> they compared it to the Bloodborne DLC. In terms of size for your money, it was the best they have made. That's what they've said. Awesome. Great to hear. Great to hear. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, again, I, I, I have no doubts that it's going to be amazing. Like, they're... they're FromSoft and Miyazaki are... are they're, they're, they're the kind of thing where it's like... They're like when you go to watch somebody or when you listen to somebody who is really, really good at an instrument. Game dev is the instrument. And Miyazaki and FromSoft are the artists. And it's kind of like, I don't know what they're going to play. I don't even know what I'm going to listen to. But I know it's going to be good because I like the instrument and I like the people playing it. <laughs> so it's like, I, we're good. I don't care. <laughs> we're fine. Um, I don't even care what the song sounds like. You know, like we're good. I just want to see what they're going to make. Uh, okay, let's do this. And this. And this. Warm up a little bit. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. Mm -hmm. From all the interviews given, they've also said size-wise it would be around the size of the first part of the base map, like where you start out. So there should be plenty to explore. So like a, a, a limb grade, I'm assuming. This? Is this the first part of the map? They may, they may include this. This is technically the first part. Like that's the first part. This moves into Lernia and this moves into Kaelid. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's great, man. We could spend, dude, we could easily spend 40 hours doing all this. 30 to 40, I'd argue, depending on how far you went with it. Like that's that's a that's a lot of area, especially if they're going to pack it more. If they're going to put more stuff in that area. Like, there's already a pretty good amount of stuff. I mean, granted, there are some 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 large open areas, but I mean, you know, it's part of an open world game. There, there, there was significantly more stuff in this game than like a game like Outward, and you know, that game was still a blast. So, interesting stuff to think about. Yeah, eight new weapon types, dude. I can't. That's the old, that's like the only tidbit I know about the expansion. I heard it for the first time yesterday. I know nothing else about these expansion except for eight new weapon types, and that makes me Okay. So last time we went to the left and jumped over all that and did the roof stuff, which was needed. This time, let's go over to the right. Ko is waiting for the Destiny 2 DLC confirmed. Yeah, no. <clears throat> not for me, not for me. Hope you Destiny players have fun though with it. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. I feel like Destiny players need a win. Is the DLC a standalone game? No. There's the Radagon icon, which makes spellcasting faster, which is amazing. For spellcasters. Have you looked into a new game coming out in EA a couple weeks called Asuka? Uh, no, it doesn't sound familiar. Does not sound familiar. Oh lord. That other guy's still alive. What a phony. Mm-hmm. 
All right. That's all done. Looks good here. Can I drop down here? Oh, thank God. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> good okay that's all sides done now so now we need to go down the center there's a few good items down here and then we're going to be working up the right side over there and unlocking the shortcut up there <laughs> Get eight, oh. Get eight. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Yeah, dude, mage, mage builds are a lot of fun. They're definitely a completely different flavor. Playing a mage in this game is almost like playing a different game. Like, it, it doesn't feel anything like a melee playthrough. It is a very different experience. Is it easy mode? It is a lot easier. Playing a mage is a lot easier. It's much more about positioning and preparing for fights than it is about actually acting fights. Or, or doing time dodging and things like that. So arguably it is it is much easier. Yes. Stop killing crabs? No. Alright. Oh yeah, there's definitely some bosses that are not that that, that magic is not great. There's a there's a few uh, a few bosses in particular that get really in your face really fast. Or um, have a lot of really, really quick attacks, so you don't really have any time to cast or anything. It may be immune or, or um, resistant to certain types as well that you may use. So there, there's some bosses that are difficult, but the majority of bosses are are a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier. Like stand, like zone in, and start spamming your spells, and the boss will be dead before they get to you. That will happen to I would argue the majority of bosses on a mage playthrough. So yeah, if you do all of them. No crab ahead. Item ahead. My man. Love it. Hey, Kill. Greetings from across the big water in Australia. Love your content and have a great day. From Mr. Copper Jr. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate you watching from Australia. Try not to get bit by something venomous today. Okay. <laughs> challenge impossible. I know, not challenge accepted. Challenge impossible. I woke up this morning and there was a scorpion in my bed. 
Oh wait. Oh. So I might have I might have accidentally added an L there. Um, it's Austria, not Australia. I'm sorry. An, an L and an R and other letters that don't exist in that word. Um, so what I'm trying to say is try not to get bit by anything venomous in Austria. That's what I meant to say. Thank you. <clears throat> What's poisonous in, in Austria? Um, I think someone in the chat said mountain goats. It sounds plausible. I think they have fangs. Uh, mountain goats and pygmy shrews, I think is what they, uh, what they worry about the most over there. Uh, Kanga sheep. That's another big one. I think we're good here. I think that's everything. Yeah, that led up to the roof. So I think I think we're good to go this way. Is he kidding about the goats? Yes. Venomous goats are not really a thing. Unfortunately. God. Slacking. All right. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, they aren't a thing yet. Good point. I mean, the CIA already has spider goats. this item is, it's not worth it. I don't even care what it is, it's not worth it. Oh, it's definitely not. It just not even, oh my god. I have to say, I would like to contact whoever constructed these little concrete rails because I have some work at my house. That is some of the best craftsmanship I've ever seen in my entire life. If you just stand on the right side, it never hits you. Wait, really? If you just run up the, the right side, it never hits you? Yeah? Wow, I never knew that. That's funny. Uh, this leads us to Turtle Pope, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, it's Turtle Pope. Okay, great. Oh. Chat, this guy's a little hossy. And I don't have my... Oh, God! You're not healing, sir. Get out of here. All right, I saw you try to heal. Interesting. 15 int. Huh. It has no skill. Interesting. I'm too stupid to use the shield. Huh. Not this time. No, you shotgun jerk. I wonder if the shotgun would have killed this character. Probably. Really? Oh, what is this? Is this back to the main room? This is that door we couldn't open, right? Okay. 
Hey, Randall Dorn, how you doing, buddy? Mr. Copper Jr., thank you for that sub, buddy. Hey, very cool. That was our friend from Austria earlier. Thank you, man. No. No. Sir. <laughs> Did I just deal damage to him with my butt? Ow. No way! <laughs> we're good. We're good. We continue. <laughs> we continue. I know that was that would do. That was a roller coaster of emotion, man. I don't. <laughs> that was like the ultimate fail to confusion, to wonderment, to concern. <laughs> it's like the whole gambit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi, hi, die, you dick. <laughs> Giving me heart palpitations. <laughs> All right. Mountain Mama, the $10 tip. The mods are awesome. Thank you so much, Mountain Mama, for supporting our mod team. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Everybody gets one. I know if you look carefully in the clip, you can see Spider-Man swing in and grab me and gingerly leave me on the ground. It's really fast though. You have to go frame by frame, but he's there. Gotta look. That's my one this run. So what is this area for? Oh, these were the dudes summoning the ball. Oh, cool. Okay. Awesome. That's fine. Slightly reduces the FP cost of sorceries. Okay. So that's the, uh, the, the skill version, the spell version of the skill version. More roof stuff, dude? Damn, a seven. Oh, that's big. That's, that's the first of those we've seen. That's a big one. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but we can't go do the boss. Because we are hurting pretty bad right now. We're out of all of our tricks. So we need to go and rest. But thankfully, we can open this shortcut. Toe, be ready for millennia. 
Yesterday, two hours and or two hour and fifty minute attempts with sixty vigor, summon level eight, Eleonora Pole Blade ten, the best talismans. All other bosses, one or five max attempts. How is that boss in this universe, Millennia? That run with summon and sixty vigor was for fun, but I want to say how bad balanced that boss is. <laughs> Dude, she's supposed to be the game's, like, there's a reason she's optional, is I think the best way to say it. There's a reason she's optional. And and I think that, that she's designed for that specific purpose in mind. Yep. <clears throat> I think I think the devs specifically wanted a an, an encounter that's just completely bonkers compared to the other ones. Uh, and, that's, and I feel like they said they did the same thing in Be Rising, except... Um, <laughs> they made them as part of the game as the second to last and last bosses, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's see. So we need to start getting faith up. We need to start getting mind up. I mean, you know, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna take vigor to forty. I'm gonna take vigor to forty first. Yeah. All right. I, we're yeah. We're just gonna... Chat's so chatty today. Dude, the Elden Ring streams have been awesome. They've been they've been so much fun. A lot of good Elden Ring discussion and lore talk and people excited for the DLC and it's yeah, it's been they've been great. They've been great. Okay. Looking good. You got a gold seed you can upgrade flasks? I think I need two. Yeah, I need I need two at this point. We need to go back to the script shack and uh, and get us some more scream. I need some more scream. I need some of them tasted scream. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Honestly, I need to all. Maybe I should start getting strength up. Yeah. I do need to start getting my strength up. I mean, I, at minimum, we're going to want 20 strength, but probably more to be honest. It's so weird, I didn't have a problem with Millennia, but Renala took me so many attempts. Renala? The person we're going to fight now? Really? Interesting. Oh, you know what? I can two-hand. I can two-hand this fight, can't I? Because there's nothing to block. There's nothing to block in this fight. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, the books. That's true. I forgot about the books. Hmm. If I do my summons now, do they stay for the first and second phase? Yes. Yes, they do. Witch chat, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. Man, I can't wait to see the boss cut scenes in the new one. Some of the weirdest, best cut scenes in any game are from Souls games when they introduce bosses. Little Calver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. <laughs> yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> Why? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to blast... Our ladies we need to beat three of them before we beat. What the hell, what's going on? Okay, that was weird. Um, 
before we beat this one, though, we're going to do this. We're going to buff up. Ow. Oh, no, I'm too far. No. Dang, I was hoping I could one round her, but that is definitely not going to happen. Guess we're not doing quite as much DPS as the Scythe run, but that's understandable. What the hell is going on? Oh god, what is this? I don't even know what this mechanic is. Now the hard part. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Ah, my beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Ye will be countless born, forever and ever. I want to, this is, this part I don't really understand. So, the egg was gifted from Radagon to Renala when they got Upon married. my name is Rani the Witch. But Rani's power just came Mother's out of Mother's rich slumber it. shall not be disturbed by thee. So that's Rani in Foul her mother's trespasser. body send word far and wide oh it comes from above not the egg ronnie is using spirit calling she is the one Queen who gave it Karia. to her to use Renala of the full moon this is an illusion a spirit a spirit of her mother called by ronnie and the majesty of the night she conjureth TLDR, Ronnie's just protecting her mom. Cool. Okay. We're good. Little Rani, 
Beautiful. My dear daughter, leave thy night into awesome. being. Is that applause? Fantastic. Mmm. Mmm.